All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 6. Finally, after 10 years, I mean, one month of it uh, being gone for reasons. Like, there was two recaps, apparently, which I definitely didn't watch, and then a week break. Um, I don't un fully understand the reasoning behind that, like production issues or something like that. I don't know. But, hey, we're back. It, the channel's been a little bit dry during this time, but we're back. Um, yeah, uh, last episode was... Oh, God, what happened? Um, Gojo went insane. Pretty sure. Yeah, Gojo went insane. Was that last episode? I think. Gojo went insane. Killed Toji. Um, beat his goddamn ass. Ghetto went villain, unfortunately. And uh, it got kicked out of school. And then we met the, the Yuki lady, I believe, who was the other special grade fine as wine um but yeah she kind of implemented the idea in ghetto's head which yikes but also he pr it probably would have gone down that route soon enough anyway um but yeah now we're back in the presence we're back uh, with the main trio finally i've missed them so much these bunch of idiots plus megami and uh yeah looking forward to this next arc so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now. Bye bye. Human Earthworm 4. Oh, these were these the movies? Is this the, the movies he was talking about in like the first season? Or like they went to see in the cinema? This is so fucking weird. There's a baby? What the fuck? That looks awful, Yuji. <laughs> These two are so funny. Johnny! What's with this girl? Who is she? Oh, I remember this from the end of the season where they were like saying, yeah, you need to up these guys. And my brother. That's fucking awesome, man. I'm sorry, are they about to play ping pong? Miss me. <laughs> We'll have a heated discussion over some ping pong, I guess. Did he just clap to get there? Damn. Isn't May like a fully grown adult woman? And Toto's like, what, 17, 18? Destiny. Oh no! <laughs> You're kidding! Oh, poor Toto. I mean, that makes sense. What a dumbass. Oh, wait, this girl... I thought this girl was following Yuji. Oh, she's tall. Oh, she is following Yuji, kind of, I guess. Oh, new opening. Okay. I believe this is... Um, I think I saw this is performed by King New or King New. Who did the ranking of kings opening? So that's gonna be interesting. I think I, I think I said that right. Oh my god! Yeah, definitely a dark opening. They usually are though. The visuals fire. The song I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's definitely different to all anime uh, openings, which is already um, a good sign. Probably one that will grow on me. Oh, wow. She changed so much in six months. <laughs> the look on Nebra's face. He was so much taller. Wow. Oh, so she likes Yuji? That's cute. <laughs> what is that? Yeah! <laughs> is she ringing him? Oh my god, that's funny. I like how she's wing wing woman him wing womaning her right now. No. 
That's funny. Oh. Nah, no way. Of course he doesn't have a girlfriend. As if Megami actually cares about this. Yeah, which wouldn't happen if he had a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I miss these dumbasses so much. Yes, actually, we do. Oh, oh shit's working here. Got it. Bro, bro's probably like in the middle of watching a movie. I reckon he will he will recognize her. Oh, he did recognize her. Really? Oh. Aw, that was really sweet of him. Yuji's a good boy. I mean, yeah. If he, it was a if he had to choose question. What is the shadow? Is it a curse? Did you get his number at least? Oh, what? They didn't? Oh, nice. Okay. I love that these two came straight to it. And it helped with that. <laughs> Here he is. Mr. Good Boy himself. Are you just making him carry shit? Because he's strong as hell? Oh, now they're going to the movie, are they? <laughs> I kind of want that girl to be, like, a character that comes back. She was cute. But I also miss this trio so much and their dumbass antics. So it's someone we know. Who's it be? Who would be? Is it Mekamaru? I mean, that's who I was thinking of. <laughs> I love these little mix of comedy, dumb little faces. Oh, I miss this show. I miss the present day as well. Not the the past backstories weren't amazing. Is this where the the person who runs Mekamaru is? So this is only speculation. Is this not like for certain what's happening right now? Or maybe he is the mole. Wait, what? We are? Is that for certain? Oh, damn, it is. Wild. Bro, you're like a zombie. You probably smell like shit. Comes after fixing him? I realize, I feel like uh, the guy that runs Mechamaru is going to be him once they fix him. I like that they, there's rules that they have to follow. So is he going to turn him into something weird or is he going to turn him into a normal human again? Oh, damn. Hang on, I've seen this motherfucker in Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it looks human enough. Oh, shit. Oh, many Mechamarus. Oh, damn. Is he actually going to be able to beat Maito, though? I don't think these puppets are enough to beat him. He's gone, though. Nice. Okay, it was a distraction. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Is this a giant Mechamaru? Holy fucking Godzilla. What? What does that say? I don't know what that says. 
Bro is actually in like a Gundam or like a Power Rangers like Zord. <laughs> Oh, shit, okay. So we get something from both sides. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah? How so? Oh, shit, okay. So he knows Mahito's techniques? Oh, has he got a thing for Miwa? Wait, is he using one year's worth of cursed energy? Holy shit, dude. That's the end of the- What?! Right, so that was Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 6. Jesus Lord in Heaven, that was a quick episode. Um, I do like it, though, that we're back present day. And we're with the, the trio that shares one brain cell. Uh, I love the thing at the start with Yuji's classmate from school. And Nobu and Megami were like- Get here quick. We've got to help Yuji get a girlfriend. Or uh, wing wingman, wingwoman him. That was really awesome. Uh, we need we need friends like that for real. Professional dumbasses. Uh, yeah, it's nice seeing them back. Interesting that we've got like this traitor, obviously, that was kind of relaying information, and it turned out to be Mekamaru. In exchange for him getting his actual body back, which, fair enough. Bro deserves to have his body. Um, obviously, putting people's lives in danger, though. Uh, but in return, he's going to go and try and get to Gojo to relay all the information that the, curse, the curses have and what their mission is uh, in hopes that he will protect him. So fair enough. If you can get some information out of it, then at least it was worth doing this, doing what he did. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. He, it's interesting that uh, Makamaru looks like um, Megami. Is that Megami? Am I thinking the right person? No, I'm thinking of Aki. I'm getting them mixed up. Aki and Megami, they're so similar. Yeah, I'm thinking of Aki, um, is who I'm thinking of. But, um, yeah, uh, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day, and peace out. <laughs>